Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Jason DeVille, and I am here to speak to you about uh, uh, American revolutionary literature. I am excited to be here um, because I think it's a uh, time in, in history and the, the particular literature that we're going to be talking about is so rich uh, with meaning. It's so full of meaning. Uh, and so it is a pleasure to be here to share a little bit about it with you. Um, and uh, I just have a question for you guys. When you think about the American Revolution and you think about heroes of the American Revolution, who are some people that come to mind? So when I think about the American Revolution, I like to think of, you know, obviously George Washington, um, Thomas Jefferson, uh, uh, John Adams, um, some of the bigger names. Uh, and and there's, a, there's a hero in American history that um, gets talked about, but I think in only a superficial, superficial manner, and that is Paul Revere. Uh, Paul Revere was, was an amazing man. He was a man that uh, really did a lot to, to help the cause for, uh, of independence in America and someone that we're going to talk about tonight. So uh, sit down, relax. I've only got three minutes, so please hold all your questions uh, and we will get to this. Uh, first thing I'd like to talk about is uh, the characteristics of American revolutionary literature. Um, this is kind of a time where a lot of the people who are writing are, are writing some sort of political pamphlet or they're writing newspaper articles. Um, typically, the topics on, the, on this uh, literature involves uh, politics or, or ideas of, of uh, uh, individual rights and things like that, happenings that are going on. Um, it's a, it's a pretty interesting uh, time in, in uh, uh, literature, uh, but it is not um, as wide as some other eras of literature. Um, the context with which that we're going to be talking about uh, this literature, the, the context that this literature takes, takes place, is um, a time when the colonies are fighting for independence and uh, they are struggling to find their identity and to throw off the chains that have bound them from uh, Great Britain. And um, so, so a lot of the literature of this era has a, a political bent to it because, uh, because that was the major event that was, this, that was transpiring during this era. Um, we're going to talk a little about Paul Revere, who uh, is the main topic tonight. He was a man of uh, great character. He was a businessman. Um, he, he was a man who was highly involved in his community. Um, he's most well known for his famous ride, but the truth is there was a lot to him as far as his ability to connect with others. Uh, he was the first social networker. He was the first Facebooker, if you will. Um, and when he went out and, and, uh, and had his wild ride, it wasn't something that just happened one night. Those relationships were a series of relationships that he had nurtured and developed over time. And uh, when he went out on his ride, uh, that was just a manifestation of his connections with the people um, in various communities. Uh, many people don't know that he was uh, captured, actually, uh, by the British regulars the night that he rode. Um, and due to a, some circumstances that were out of the British, British's control, they had to release him and the people he was riding with. And so uh, he was able to then find his horse because when they caught them um, and they had, to, they had to leave them, they scattered their horses. Uh, so Paul Revere had to find another horse and, um, and go ahead and continue riding to alert uh, uh, the rest of the uh, um, revolutionaries that the British were, were on their way. So uh, I, I like Paul Revere because he was a man, like I said, of action. He was a man who... Uh, you know, was was very politically inclined. He was a businessman, um, and he was uh, an incredible hero um, to many people uh, in the, at that time in Boston and in the surrounding communities. So, um, I appreciate your time and your your willingness to listen to my uh, my talk tonight. And I uh, again, I want to just uh, restate to you that American. Revolutionary literature 
is uh, is a literature that is uh, take, takes place in American uh, early American history. Um, the context is is political because that's what the uh, you know the topic of the day was, and uh, Paul Revere was a hero who deserves uh, all of our attention and respect. Thank you very much, and have a good night.